My name is Barry Rosen. I am the Director of Product Management for the Domino product set here at HCL and Digital Solutions. I have Karen O'Day and Andrew Davis on the screen with me. They're not going to actually participate in today's session, but I wanted to show them. They are the lead developers that I work with on a daily basis, and they will be having a session tomorrow where they will be showing some of the code. There are also breakout sessions. There's a breakout session with Thomas Hampel on security later today. I really encourage everyone to go to all of those breakout sessions, and uh, we will uh, be looking forward to seeing you there. So let's get into it. I only have 15 minutes, so I'm not going to be able to answer anybody's questions directly uh, in the chat. So I'm just going to kind of go through these slides because I do unfortunately have a limited amount of time to go through them. So let's just talk a little bit about where we're where we've been, where we're going. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of slides so far this week um, showing the velocity um, that we've put into the market with the Domino product. Since 2018, we've put in two releases and we've got version 12 on the way. So let's jump in right into version 12 and let's talk about what are the themes for version 12. Um, so some of you may have seen this slide when I was presenting on uh, day one of Imagine, but let's talk about these in a little bit more detail than I was able to get into uh, in that deck. The first on the very left, we've got business workflow for everyone. And really this, it, this represents the, the Volt aspect and the things that we're doing in V12 to support Volt. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit later as well. In the middle, we talk about your data, your business, your cloud. This is Domino being cloud native with the security and automation that every organization expects. So of course, we're gonna be supported on the latest and leading container platforms. You know, we're gonna focus on database backups and simpler security deployment. And don't forget about our CHMSPs here as well. Those are our cloud hosting providers who will host um, all of our offerings uh, in a cloud hosting type of model. And finally, to the right, we've got better app and mail experiences everywhere. We want to really focus on zero footprint apps in a browser. That's really going to be one of the major focuses for V12. And that will allow you to run on Windows Mac and Linux, because wherever your browser runs, you'll be able to run this. And this is really a game changer for deploying and upgrading a notes client. So let's kind of talk about from a server perspective, some of the features that we're looking at for V12. And I'm not gonna go through all of these just because I simply don't have time. But um, some of the ones that I didn't talk about on Monday, um, one of the things that we're doing is license tracking and reporting. So we're trying to get everyone to CCD uh, license model. And in order to assist with that function, we're going to build into V12 a tracking and reporting functionality. This is going to allow you to understand your usage within your organization. This will not be reported back to HCL, but this will be used if we ever need to come in for audit purposes and for your own um, knowledge of who is using and what type of um, uh, licenses you are actually using or in use. Um, from a security perspective, we covered the two-factor authentication and Let's Encrypt. I'll cover that both those in a little bit more detail, but we're also doing a fail to ban, which is blocking IP address, uh, uh, addresses. So we're trying to block at the point of IP authentication to uh, enhance security for malicious attacks. Um, we did talk about syncing Active Directory passwords. Um, we're talking about Nomad web support, um, and we're gonna do some modifications to the pub names um, so that in a browser-based client, uh, it will look really nice as well. Um, we've added some quota things now to simplify cluster administ administration. This will allow you to replicate the database quota settings between servers so you don't have to go on each individual database and set the quota. If you'd like to have that setting uh, across quotas, you can do that now. 
Um, backup solution, we talked about that. Docker improvements. Um, silent one-click install using the JSON config file. That's really about simplifying your Domino server upgrade and installation process, and then allowing you to really have a consistent pattern across your org. Um, and then we're doing some work in the uh, ID vault as well. Uh, and then finally, when we talk about support for Vault, um, we're going to do some very simple web UI um, to help for a Vault admin if they've never had experience with a Domino administrator client. We're going to give them some capabilities through a very uh, nice web UI to do that. Some other things that we're really looking to expand in version 12 are the platforms that we support. So not only on the client side are we looking you know, to expand our, our reach and our footprint, we're looking to do so on the server side as well. So what we're really focused on here is Linux. And what we're talking about is regional flavors of Linux. So, for example, um, Astra Linux is a flavor of Linux that is a requirement in Russia for the Russian, any Russian government entity. So we are going to offer expanded support on those, um, on those more localized Linux platforms. And we'll be talking about that in more details as we get to uh, beta as well. And we'll be looking for uh, the community to help us with this and to help with our certification um, and testing on those additional platforms. You know, so we talked about um, your business, your data, your cloud. You know, let's talk about um, some of those container platforms, AWS, OpenShift, Azure, GCP, all of those fully running Domino. And then from a backups perspective, you know, one of the things that we hear the most from an upgrade perspective that blocks people from upgrading is backups. So we wanna make sure that we're adding the ability from a Domino perspective to um, be able to backup with any vendor. Um, and then security. So let's talk about that. We were building in Let's, let, let's Encrypt right into Domino. It is free of charge for your SSL and TLS certificates. And this will allow you to not have to create or manage key ring files. So this is something from a, from a security perspective and an administration perspective we're really excited about to simplify everything here. And let's talk about the two-factor authentication. So this is going to work out of the box for Domino customers. Thomas is going to really get into some details later about how to install this. But you know, from an end-user perspective, this is really nice because you can use Authy or Google Authenticator as your um, uh, app to uh, is your time-based uh, token generator to uh, set that up and provide an additional layer of security for your end users. You know, we're really pushing towards our Nomad web and our progressive web application technology. So not only today you can get Verse and you can turn Verse starting in Verse 2.0 into a progressive web app, web app. When we release Domino uh, HCL Nomad web, you will also be able to run that as a progressive web app. So that basically gives the end user the capability capability of having um, something on their desktop that they can actually click instead of going to a browser. And it gives a nice feeling of a thick client, but the, the, um, you know, the ability to update that as a thin client. So here's what we're showing is you know, just showing a little bit of the modernization of a modernized application, what it looks like in Nomad Web, um, looks very nice. Your end users you know, can look at a modern experience from a UI, and then also have a modern experience in the browser. So not only do they have a modern client, but they have a modern UI. So let's talk about Verse. You know, we, we talked about um, HCL Web Access. This is our Verse um, roadmap. We are agile in Verse, so there, this is in no particular order, but these are the things that we are working on in terms of our top priority. So I'm not going to go through all of these just from a time perspective, but I want to make sure that you see, you know, all the things that we're thinking about from a Verse perspective and, um, you know, what we're targeting in the V12 timeframe. So, you know, we talked about how we are delivering these as progressive web apps. And, you know, yesterday we debuted uh, chat and meeting, same time version 11.5. It's available today. And so we will have that as a PWA for 
for that offering as well. And eventually what we'd like to have is a single desktop experience that, you know, based on what you're doing, what offerings you have, um, and where you are in your day, will show you the capabilities that you need to uh, complete your, your tasks. So let's talk a little bit about notes. I've got about five minutes left and I'm gonna spend the last five minutes on notes. A um, Couple things that we've got going on this chart. The user interface, you know, we are going to uh, make some updates to the user interface to improve productivity. That does include the workspace. So we will be showing all of this. Um, we're calling it fit and finish. We're updating the icons. We're gonna do some changes to the workspace. All of this will be seen in our beta. Um, from a competitive perspective, we're really working on um, some enhancements there as well. So we have an alternate from. This will allow you to choose who you want to see your signature, who are you sending from, you know, so you can have multiple froms and, and just select when you send um, from a single client. Um, also a format painter, which will allow you to, like a Microsoft Word type of functionality, select, um, so I think there's some background noise, select some, um, you know, format some of the forms that you're looking at and then change that and use that across your, um, your typing and then also import improvements. We're also really focused on improvements. So we've uh, increased the response. Could everyone go on mute, please, if you're not on mute? Um, oh, yeah. From a performance perspective, we've uh, improved 5% uh, uh, faster uh, performance on startup and also on slow networks. So when uh, what that means is if you're on a slow network, and you start seeing, seeing that spinning wheel, we're really working on responsiveness for slow network so you don't get hung uh, in that situation. Also, um, we're working on additional dictionaries as part of the notes kit for Windows, so you won't need to install them separately. So out of the box, you'll have all of the language dictionaries. Um, on that note, we're also cascading the MUI, so all of the languages will be combined. There will be no reason to have se separate installations. All languages will be in one uh, install package. Um, we're also reducing the footprint. Um, we're removing any unused templates and unused libraries as well uh, on that front. From a language perspective, here are the languages that we will support out of the box for V12. And then at the bottom, you see the, the post V12 languages that we will support. Um, so we have a plan right after V12 to support those additional languages. Um, I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, we have uh, some new additional branding on those previous slides. I was showing the new um, HCL notes icon. So we've updated the HCL notes icon to go with our domino icon and our other icon families. We also have a new splash screen, which we have a mock-up here as well, as well as uh, domino admin and designer icons uh, that will be updated. So let's talk about domino designer and then I'll wrap it up. So Domino Designer, we're really gonna be focused on our mobile capabilities in V12. We're gonna provide the support to hide design elements for mobile, um, and then also uh, have a specific uh, uh, iOS uh, and uh, device. <laughs> Uh, also, machen. we're going to be updating the bootstrap store, and we will also be modernizing the icon view list styling options and field that that you you on the box. And just want to wrap it up. So, uh, just to summarize everything that you've seen today, um, summarize everything that you've seen today. We have. Uh, our Vault workflow integration. We've got our simpler security deployment with two-factor and time-based uh, password authentication. We've got our Domino Cloud native offerings with our cloud hosting partners as well. We have our database backups reimagined. We've got our better app experiences with zero footprint, and we also have new desktop mail and chat experiences. So just to wrap it up, please keep the ideas coming from an product management and offering management perspective. We look at all of your ideas. Go to domino.ideas.aha.io. Put your ideas in there. We will review them. Please go see the rest of the sessions that we'll be showing today. Karen and Andrew Davis and Thomas and myself and Agnes will be in roundtables. Please talk to us. Looking forward to the rest of the factory tour. Hope everyone had a great time and enjoyed what they're seeing. 
and I will talk to you soon. Thank you, everybody.